The Enugu State Deputy Governor, Ifan Yosai, who joined the advocacy rally, described the theme of this year's celebration, People First, Stop Stigma and Discrimination, Strengthen Prevention, as apt, and maintain that those who abuse illicit substances need help and should not be stigmatized. He assured that the state government will make its health facilities and counselors available to speed up rehabilitation of victims of drug abuse. The deputy governor attributed the rising wave of crime and criminality to the effect of drug abuse and called for stakeholders' collaboration to address the situation. We also want to pledge Enugu State commitment. Kitamba, the governor of Enugu State, is clear that he will work with NDLEA, working with our institutions, our health institutions, to provide care and support for those in need of them. And whatever plan NDLEA has to enable them to combat crime and, and abuse of substances, the state government is willing to partner with NDLEA. Speaking on this year's commemoration, the Zona Commander NDLEA in charge of Enugu and Eboin State, Abdul Momodu, said the 2023 United Nations Day Against Drug Abuse and Trafficking focuses on strengthening prevention of substance abuse and trafficking as well as discouraging stigmatization and discrimination against drug abusers. We also key into the international best practice that drug use is not a crime, so we don't prescribe users. Rather, we prescribe the people who deal in drugs, who sell it, the merchants of the drug. So the people who use it are people who need help, as far as we are concerned. And that is why we have counseling and rehabilitation facilities to deal with that. So stigma is one of the biggest problems of uh, drug abuse. The advocacy rally we started from Upper Square moved through major streets in Enugu Metropolis and ended at Obwete Market. Ozio Mokoro.